Today's Five Things You Need to Know is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. Hello, I'm Andy Cohen. Today is Sunday, May the 9th, and this is a News 5 update. Seven people are dead after a man opened fire at a birthday party in Colorado Springs and then turned the gun on himself. It happened at around 1220 Sunday morning in a mobile home at a subdivision on Preakness Way near Pan Hancock and Powers. Officers believe the shooter was the boyfriend of one of the victims. Children were inside the trailer, but they were not hurt. They're currently being cared for by relatives. And Denver police officer is reportedly in critical condition after he was shot in the leg overnight. Investigators say that officers were in the Sunnyvale neighborhood near Aurora when someone shot at them from a porch. Several people have been detained, but the department has not said if the shooter is in custody. Pueblo City Councilman Ray Aguilera has died. Aguilera was a longtime champion for the Bessemer neighborhood. His public service on city council began in 2003. Many school children will remember his Bessemer Christmas extravaganzas in recent years. Aguilera was 78 years old. Now, the Rocky Mountain Athl Americans with Disabilities Act Center has teamed up with Overdrive Raceway to make sure that kids with disabilities can still enjoy the go-karts. They've created a one-of-a-kind electric cart that can reach speeds up to 45 miles an hour. Alan? Looks like a good time, and our weather may not be the best time ahead for us as we have rain and snow showers in the forecast. In fact, a very unsettled and cold pattern ahead through Tuesday. It looks like the heaviest round moves in Monday evening to Tuesday morning, but we also get a round that moves through southern Colorado tonight, and we're looking at about a half an inch to an inch and a half of precip and snow. Most of the accumulation above 7,500 feet. But by Monday morning, I should say Monday night, snow levels could be down around 6,000 feet. So we get a round of light snow tonight, and then the next round of heavier precipitation moves into the area beginning on Monday afternoon. Thank you for listening to today's 5 Things You Need to Know. Sponsored by Power Credit Union.